What's up? It's your girl, Amelia's more. That's right, for StrongIslandHipHop.com. Now, this, na this face right here needs no introduction. He's the creme de la creme. It's none other than DJ Premier. Welcome to Strong Island. Thank you very much. How you doing? I'm good, man. It's good to see you, as always. One of the most genuine people in this business, if I must say so for myself. How many years has it been, Primo? About 22. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. When I think of how the business has changed within those 22 years, what would you say was the most biggest transformation? Really just a digital age coming into play where it started to, you know, make the vision of records and vinyl disappear, CDs are starting to disappear, uh, record company, record, record stores are going out of business, mom and pop stores are going out of business, who are the ones that always kept us alive in the hood and kept, you know, kept our product circulating. So we want to preserve that in a, some type of way by regenerating our style of music to the markets that used to support us. Those markets still want that type of music, so I, I, it, why not still put it out? Which is why I started a record label that could cater to that. And here I am, Year Round Records. Why the record label and why now in your career? Well, again, like with, this, with the record sales declining and not enough choices of good music to find, it's like we want to make it available because the major labels started to really shut out any hip hop that was over 25 years old which you can't do but no they can do it it's their label but you're also killing off it, it, it that, that's like that's like cutting a, a major artery where you're gonna bleed to death and how about that you may not die instantly but you're gonna bleed to death exactly and you know you have been the instrument of those vintage records i mean like we're listening to the classics in the background as we're speaking now do you see the music now taking on like the boom bap um like musical theory again um you know we'll have to wait and see but i know as far as what i'm doing i'm definitely doing that for those that choose not to it's all good because we're going to still run over you anyway right. because we come we're, we're bulldozing it up trust me so it's like um the authentic people that are die hard into something no matter what it is even though hip-hop is our way will never die out even though it goes through a, a, a an up and down period we weather every storm so um because we're that passionate about what we do and passion always overrides money and everything else the money comes with the passion but it's a lifestyle yes. You know what I mean? And so whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad, you're still living. And, and you're going to live it until you die. Now, you know, I wanted to talk about the marketing. Because you came in the game when it was all about grassroots marketing. Then we watched as the business started transforming into the joint ventures, the black music divisions, the OPM, the other people, corporate dollars coming in. Do you see now that it's going back to the grassroots because of the influx in, of independent record labels and the onset of the internet? Well, for one, yeah, when you're independent, everything that's necessary is put into it because you have more to lose when you're doing it on your own. You know, on your own. When you're on somebody else's budget and they give you a million dollars, they can write it off on their tax and it's a wrap and they'll just get, they'll get another new sucker to, to sign, you know? Uh, so. I'm independent. It's so much legwork. We're a small staff because we can only afford to take care of ourselves. But the integrity of the music does never dwindle. It always comes top notch for the customer that wants to get his money's worth without having to skip 20 songs to get to another hot record. But let's talk about the artist and what made you sign the in particular artist because I mean, you've done everybody in this business. There really, literally, isn't anyone. And it was so wonderful to watch the um, promo reel of um, your new your new album, your new project on um, records collecting dust. And you know, I just want to know what it's like and why did you choose those artists? Um, well, the NYGs. I used to live on 183rd Street in the Bronx when I moved from East New York and Brooklyn. And uh, when I moved up there, I met a guy named Panchi, very well known in the streets. Everybody respected him. He, he couldn't rap or anything, but 
he was just one of the people you love to see on the block every day. Where's Pants at? Where's Pants? Where's Pants? Everybody just it's Pants, Pants, Pants. And uh, he just he's just a total G, you know what I'm saying? And and uh, I knew his his man uh, Suicide the Survivor, who now changed his name to Shabino, L, L S two times or Shaq Kim, a lot of S's, right. but excuse me. So they had a, re a group called Operation Ratification. Again, Panchi knew so many people's rhymes. I kept telling him, yo, you should rhyme. Me and Guru used to, I was telling him, you should, you should write rhymes. He started to write, and he wrote some clever stuff. He just didn't know how to format it, and he finally learned. They, they stopped messing around, and then they, they were called the NYGs years ago, but uh, we knew we couldn't use the, the team name, right. which we still cannot. So it's NYGZ. But uh, they're also Giants fans. But uh, the main thing is, I said, you know what? I could develop y'all if you let me drive and give you the right tracks that match your style. And we started to just experiment, and we finally got it together. And uh, now I'm putting an album out with them called Pros and Cons. They have an album in stores now called Welcome to Jeetum, which is also a compilation of all of their, their homies from their hood that produce, rhyme, and everything else, you name it. And they're on there doing that thing. And the record is in stores now on v double vinyl, CD, and digital. That's through traffic on year-round records. And also, the new album, Pros and Cons, will be out in 2009. And I also have Black Poet. And most of these artists are over, over 30, 35 years old. It's like, so what? Dope is dope. Exactly. But I, I, I can't really have a 15-year-old telling me how fly he is because I know his rhymes ain't going to be all that. 